hearts and minds don't always agree, but when it comes to your health, research finds that your heart and brain are deeply connected. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And in good health on this Wellness Wednesday, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain how that understanding is now changing the care of both. Heart disease remains the leading cause of death worldwide, but the number of deaths from Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia is rising. The American Heart Association says research finds many of the risk factors for heart disease may also increase the risk of brain disease. Things like high blood pressure, for example, even in midlife in one's 40s or 50s can double your risk of dementia. Obesity triples the risk of dementia. So because of all these uh, new findings, we decided it was time to really take on brain health as well. Dr. Mitchell Elkind is the past president of the American Heart Association. He's also a neurologist who says what's good for the heart is good for the brain. It's really kind of a sea change or a paradigm shift in how we think about brain disease, recognizing that blood vessel problems may contribute to those sorts of conditions as well. The Heart Association is devoting millions toward research into this heart-brain connection. We've had funding from the Paul G. Allen Frontiers Group and also from the Gates Foundation to help support research on the vascular contributions to neurodegenerative diseases and, um, and dementia. The most important change to protect your heart and brain? It's not to smoke. So if you smoke already, then uh, try to get help to quit. And if you don't smoke, please don't start. Maintaining a healthy blood pressure is also key. It turns out that the risk for, say, dementia really is based on your blood pressure in midlife, not what it is towards the end of life when, when the dementia is actually occurring. It's what it is in midlife. And recent research, in fact, suggests that that timeline should, in fact, be pushed even earlier in one's life. And if you want to take one step today toward reducing your risk of heart disease, stroke, and dementia, start exercising. That doesn't mean you have to run a marathon lift heavy weights and so forth. I tell my patients to go walking 30 minutes a day, at least five days a week. So I think that would be a good place to start. Now throughout Heart Month, we're posting tips on ways to make small changes with a big impact. This week's focus is exercise. You can find that information on the health page at clickondetroit.com.